Alrighty guys, good evening. It's Madman Mundello coming at you live from the Gardendale Garage here in beautiful Alabama. Alright, now, in between all the work that I'm doing with the RGHs, with the RetroPies, now i got a guy who wants built, wants me to build him a computer, and all this stuff, well, all in between that, and also Lorraine's rotator cuff surgery, which was really cute, yeah, I managed to get this thing working. Now, before you saw a video of this thing, you know, and um, I, I had a halfway decent, it was working okay. Now, I redid everything on it, and I installed Ubuntu 18.04.3, and um, I also found my piece of crap um, Radian R7-240 card, which is complete garbage, alright, and we installed, um, you know, this is, uh, this operating system called Budgie. It's a lightweight client, okay, very lightweight, and, um, yeah, I wanted to get all of this stuff working on it, alright, now I got everything working on it except for PCSX2, which I'm still working on, but, however, though, alright, 64-bit, uh, and, you know, with the 64-bit, we all know that Ubuntu dropped 32-bit uh, support, okay, which means that there will be no more 32-bit versions of Linux, okay, through Ubuntu, or in a lot of them, actually, because it's like, rest in peace. So they made these libraries and all this stuff that, you know, creates, they let you load an architecture of 386, which is cool. So anyway, I went ahead and I did all that, okay, and, um... I, it was a lot of work. Right? This was not e not an easy task. I mean, I could have got hyperspin and just set you know bought a drive and set it up on there. I was like, no, I'm doing my own. I don't care. I'm gonna do it myself. Don't want this. So, all right, I went ahead and we got RetroPy on here. Okay, and then of course we had to compile it and all the source code and all that kind of crap. And we got it all done. All right, now, okay. The main reason was, is I wanted to get GameCube, Wii, and, you know, PlayStation 2 working on this version, okay? Now, I was able to achieve um, the Wii and the GameCube, okay? I'm still working on the uh, PCSX, and that's due to this graphics driver's card, because this graphics card is horrible. It uses Vulkan, it uses the Vulkan, um, what you call it, Vulkan libraries and all that stuff, and, um, well, they have this thing called Glamour. Believe me, it's not glamorous at all, all right? So I have an NVIDIA card coming, uh, 1050i, okay, which should solve a lot of the problems, okay? However, though, uh, I had a lot of people asking me about this, saying, Hey, Tom, did you get that pack? What's going on with it? And I'm like, yeah, I'm, I'm working on it, so I, I got it done. So, uh, anyway... Okay, here it is. This is Budgie, all right, which is 18.4, all right, and as you can see, we'll scroll down to where we have games. You will see we have Dolphin Emulator loaded, and we have PCSX2, and then we have RetroPie. Now, I want to put, I, I want everything to be in RetroPie. I don't want to have to come over here and, you know, and, and click it and make it work, okay? So anyway, we went ahead, we grabbed, uh, we grabbed hold of RetroPie, all right, and um, I'm going to load it up. Okay, and hopefully, yeah, okay, we're loading, okay, now, as you can see, okay, there's all of our games, and um, all of our game systems, I should say, we have a lot of them installed on here, you, that one was cute, that one was, mm, yeah, anyway, that one was cute, alright, simple fact is, SDL1, it's just, Oh, it's just a nightmare, okay? If you really get into this, you'll find out what a nightmare it can be, okay? So anyway, we got all this loaded. We got GameCube, okay, and Wii. And um, right now, I'm working on... We're getting there. Yeah. As you can see, PS2. We're getting there. We're getting there, slowly but surely. But anyway, um, just to show you uh, why I wanted to get that done, okay? Even with this crappy graphics card, I was able to get... A decent driver, okay, which they silently released, of course, without saying anything to anybody, 
In fact, um, let me try putting it here. That way then you can see. Alright, because, like I said, a lot of people asking me about this. Now, this system here is, this is an FM4 AMD. Crappy piece of crap. Okay, of course, the crappy Radiant card. And a crappy 8 gigs of RAM. Okay. However, okay, uh, it does work pretty good. Alright, I'm using a uh, Logitech uh, 310 controller, an F310, alright, which is like right here for a PC. Cheap controller, I don't need nothing major because this is just all testing and everything. Because I want to, I, I, I'm going to wind up putting a different motherboard, of course, and everything in my uh, arcade cabinet that, I'm, I, that I've been working on, okay? So anyway, uh, let's check out GameCube. Now mind you, alright. Remember, this is an emulator, all right? So, not only are we emulating the hardware, we're also running the ROM underneath it, which requires a lot of butt, okay? <laughs> but, for the most part, we got it. Now, um, okay, I'll tell you what, you know what we'll do. Let's see here. I'll tell you what we'll do, okay? Now, this is, um, let's see, we can do... Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat, okay, let's, let, let's take this for example, alright, alright, we'll play this game here, okay, now I want you to see the graphics that it's got, uh, let me put this in here, okay, and, there we go, and we're loading, okay, now there's still some stuff I gotta straighten out on it, but as you can see, it's not bad. You can hear the CPU winding up, okay? All right, it's, it's sitting there going like, yeah, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Well, all right. Notice we got the full screen hack running on it, okay? Now, okay, I'm going to bypass the video and everything, okay? And just to show you, okay, as you can see, not bad graphics. Not bad for a piece of crap, okay? So, uh... Yeah, let's do practice. As you can see, it scales pretty good and it runs pretty good. It's pretty quick. Yeah. I like May Lee. Yeah. That'll work. Let's see. Yeah, Lee May, whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So anyway, uh, we'll start this off here. Okay, as you can see, we're loading. And really good graphics. Okay? Now, okay. Yeah. Yes. Oh yeah, that works. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that works pretty good. Okay, did you notice the elasticity? Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Check out her cleavage. <laughs> it's straight. <laughs> boom. Boom, boom, boom. Oh my god, man. It went up to her chin. Holy shit. God. <laughs> anyway, yeah. So as you can see, yeah, we can do, um, it works pretty good, full, full speed, you know, I mean, actually I'm running this at, uh, two point, uh, yeah, two times, and it's 720p right now, because this video card cannot handle 1080p, it's crap, okay, so anyway, as you can see, that works pretty good, you know, and, um, you know, it does a, it does a lot of the stuff, oh yeah, it's just, she has knives, oh yeah, okay, so, you know, like I said, not too terrible, all right? Not bad. So, what we'll do is we'll escape out of that. Now, okay. As you can see, that works really good. Now, Mario Kart, okay? Not bad either. And let's see what happens now. Yeah. Okay. And, uh... Yeah, we got 60 hertz mode on this monitor, so, there you are, there's a little dude. Yeah, hi, how you doing, buddy? Okay. Now, not bad again. It works pretty good. It's pretty fast. Um, don't see too much of a slowdown in it at all. Okay, do this. Yeah, we'll do this, what the heck. Yeah, we'll do Mario, and then we'll do Luigi. And we'll, yeah, there we go. I'm going to do the Mushroom Cup, yep. And as you can see, really good graphics. In fact, I think it, played it better, plays it better than the, the actual original GameCube, okay? Um, really, I mean, hats off to the guys that uh, 
that did this emulator because it's pretty good. It is not bad at all. Yep, and as you can see, plays really good. And the sound is real good, the audio is real good. I, and I mean, and this is on a crappy computer, okay? A really, I mean, this is a piece of junk, all right? And yet, I mean, for what it is, it's not bad at all. And um, I have no complaints whatsoever. So, as you can see, you can get the cheapest piece of crap on the face of the earth and uh, turn it into something useful, you know, if you like retro games. This is really does, this really does it justice. I mean, like I said, works real good. So I'm not going to complain. Alright, now, we'll, we'll escape out of that. Alright, then what we'll do is, uh, yeah, Soul Calibur 2, there you go. That's another one that had, that has a lot of uh, intensive graphics in it. Um, and it really does do a good job of rendering this thing. As you see, it's really fast, okay? And is it like I said, it's a crap computer. <laughs> it's just junk. <laughs> Dip from the bottom of my closet, actually. Okay? But like I said, with the GameCube and everything, you know, I mean, it had really good graphics back then. So, you know, I mean, for what it was. And as you can see, yep. And let's see. We'll go over here. Okay, it doesn't slow down. There you go. I got you. Okay, yeah. Oh uh, yeah, I'll give you silence in a minute. Now, if you run OpenGL drivers, this thing will freeze right there, okay? As I found that out. So you can't run OpenGL. But as you can see, really excellent graphics. Oh yeah. Ooh, oh, I'm messing her up bad. Yeah. Oh. oh yeah, there you go. You like that foot, huh? Huh? You like that, huh? Oh yeah. Mm, mm. It's you. Yeah. So, anyway, as you can see, really, really renders it very, very well. And, you know, and this is a crappy, like I said, it's a piece of crap. Okay? So, anyway, we'll get out of that. Alright, now, okay. We're back out of that. Okay, and then, of course, we have the Wii. Okay, now, with the Wii, alright, there you go, alright, okay, as you can see, we have Call of Duty, alright, we'll do that, and mind you, I have a Bluetooth set up with a Wii, with a Wii remote, okay, and you have to sync this, see it says Wii remote disconnected, and there we go, now Wii, Wii remote is connected, okay, so, and you can hear the processor spooling up. <laughs> I'm waiting for this fan to come right off the damn pad. <laughs> but, um, you know, now mind you, it has no problems emulating this thing. Graphics are pretty good. One of the problems, though, is, is the video card. Like I said, the video card is garbage. Okay? It really is. And um, it slows it down somewhat. But, we'll go ahead. Yep. And as you can see, I have a classic controller right here. Now, you can go out and get the IR for the top of the monitor if you want, which is converted to USB on this thing, and it'll see it, no problem. But I have this here, and then, of course, I have this hooked to it. You could use the nunchuck, but it becomes a real pain, okay? So anyway, uh, yeah, we'll do this. We'll resume the game, yes. Now, like I said, excuse the graphics because the video card is like uh, uh, I'm gonna keep saying it, it's garbage, but it's still not bad for what we got. You know, I mean, for a basic 64-bit processor, which has been which has been around for like 10 years, <laughs> maybe maybe longer. <laughs> no, it's not that old, but it's it, it's old enough. Okay. It's got four core cores and it's running at like 2.3 gigahertz, I think. And, you know, I mean, I overclocked it a little bit, but I didn't want to push it too hard. Because, like I said, it is, it is what it is. But I'm just fooling around with this because I wanted to get this working. And, as you can see, it's working. Okay? Now, and here we are. Okay? Delta Frost. 
All right, now, you can hear this thing, man. It is really winding up, okay? So, as you can see, the sound, the, gra uh, the graphics card is, is like not good, okay, all right, for this. Not good at all. It needs a real card, okay? But however, though, it's, um, it's not too terrible. I mean, for what it is. And, you know, I mean, it does, it does work pretty good. All right, now, mind you, there's a lot of settings in here that you can adjust and all that. And, you know, this controller is, it doesn't have run. Yeah, okay, how do you like that, huh? Okay, I'll do you New York, New York style. Oh, wait, yeah, you're my buddy. Sorry about that. Whoops. Now, wait, let's see here. Let's see what we can do here. Yeah, there we go. That one. Oh yeah. That hurt. <laughs> yeah. That definitely hurt. Yeah. That works pretty good. So, you know, I mean, like I said, for what it is, it's not terrible at all. Okay? But I do have it working. You can hear this thing now just spool down just to the finish, okay? Um there is a lot of settings in this thing um as you can see i'm going to show you a couple things here all right uh we'll back out of this and we'll quit yep okay and we'll quit emulation station yes all right now all right just to quickly show you what i'm talking about here like um okay we'll go to games now we can pull up dolphin emulator okay and this is the Dolphin emulator, and as you can see, you can open, there's all your games right there, okay? And then what we have here is we have options. Now you have graphic settings, okay? General, your enhancements. You see I'm running any Ellison uh, 2X, and then I'm using internal resolution 2X, two, two, you know, two times for 720p, okay? We scaled the, the, the EFB copy. I didn't force texture to texture it because... This processor will not handle it, okay? As you can see, we have the widescreen hack. It works pretty good. Okay, and then, of course, we have hacks where, you know, it's all it's all laid out for you. You just have to choose which one is going to work best for you, okay? Lots of settings in there, okay? Then we have, of course, the PCSX2, okay? Now, this also works. There you are. Okay, config, emulation settings. Okay, and I got a BIOS for it, and then you got your screen window, you, you know, all of your all of your speed hacks, everything to make this thing run as well as it could. Okay, so you know, it's been around for a while. All right, just coming to fruition, and there's a lot of people working on this thing. Okay, which my hats off to them because I don't know how the hell they did this. <laughs> Um, the end spectrum, everybody wanted to know, well, a lot of people asked me, you know, they were asking me, well, how's it going, how's it going, how's it going? Well, there's your answer, okay? Now, um, I'm going to get, uh, of course, I, I have a Dell Opt Optitron coming. It's got an i7 in it, and it's got uh, 16 gigs of RAM. And I got a 1050i card, which should work just fine for this. So we're going to give that a shot and see how that runs, but for right now, uh, you know, just, just, just fooling around with this stuff. And like I said, we've got it, uh, we got it working. So, anyway, for you guys who asked, you know, there you go. All right, hope you enjoyed the video. Y'all have a good one, guys. I'll holler at you later. I got some Xboxes to do. So, you take it easy, all right? Take care, guys.